haul of chickens on the flatbed out of Wiggins, and we'd spent all night on the uphill side of 37 miles of hell called Wolf Creek Pass, which is up on the Great Divide. We was sitting there sucking toothpicks and drinking knee highs and onion soup mix. I says, Earl, let's mail a card to mother and send them chickens on down to the side. Yeah, let's give them hens a ride. down on the throttle. Then a couple of boobs with a thousand cubes and a 1948 Peterbilt screamed alive. We woke up the chickens. We roared up off of that shoulder spraying pine cones, rocks, and boulders and put 400 head of them Rhode Island Reds and a couple of burnt out roosters on the line. Look out below, cause here we go. And them hens commenced to clucking, and then Earl took out a match and scratched his pants and lit up the unused half of a dollar cigar and took a puff. Says, my, ain't this pretty up here? I says, Earl, this hill can spill us. You better slow down or you gonna kill us. Just make one mistake and it's the pearly gates for them 85 crates of USDA-approved cluckers. You want to hit second gear, please? on the shifter and he stabbed her into fifth gear and then the chromium plated fully illuminated genuine accessory shift knob come right off in his hand as says you want to screw that thing back on Earl he was trying to thread it on there when the fire fell off of his cigar and dropped on down sort of rolled around and lit in the cuff of Earl's pants and burnt a hole in his sock yeah it sort of set him right on fire I looked on out of the window and I started in counting phone poles going by at the rate of four to the seventh power I put two and two together, added 12 and carried five, come up with 22,000 telephone poles an hour. I looked at Earl and his eyes was wide, his lip was curled and his leg was fried, his hands was froze to the wheel like a tongue to a sled in the middle of a blizzard. I says, Earl, I'm not the type to complain, but the time has come for me to explain that if you don't apply some brakes real soon, they're gonna have to pick us up with a stick and a spoon. Well, Earl reared back, cocked his leg, stepped down as hard as he could on the brake, and the pedal went clean to the floor. And it stayed right there on the floor. He says, sort of like stepping on a plum. Well, from there on down, it was just not real pretty. It was Hairpin County and Switchback City. One of them looked like a can full of worms. Another one looked like malaria germs. And right in the middle of the whole dang show was a real nice tunnel now, wouldn't you know? Sign says Clarence to the 12-foot line, but the chickens was stacked to 13-9. Well, we shot that tunnel at 110, like gas through a funnel and eggs through a head. We took that top row of chickens off, slung her to scum off a Louisiana swamp. Went down and around and around and down, we run out of ground at the edge of town. Bashed on into the side of a feed store in downtown Pagosa Springs. chickens on the flatbed out of Wiggins, and we'd spent all night on the uphill side of 37 miles of hell called Wolf Creek Pass, which is up on the Great Divide. And we was sitting there sucking toothpicks and drinking knee highs and onion soup mix, and I says, Earl, let's mail a card to mother and then send them chickens on down to the other side. Yeah, let's give them a ride. Wolf Creek Pass, way up on the Great Divide, trucking on down. Well, Earl put down his bottle, mashed his foot down on the throttle, and then a couple of boobs with a thousand cubes and the 1948 Peterbilt screamed alive. We woke up the chickens. We roared up off of that shoulder, spraying pine cones, rocks, and boulders, and put 400 head of them Rhode Island Reds and a couple of burnt out roosters on the line. Look out below, cause here we go. Well, 
we commenced trucking, and them hens commenced a cluffing. Then Earl took out a match and scratched his pants and lit up the unused half of a dollar cigar and took a puff. Says, my, ain't this pretty up here? I says, Earl, this hill can spill us. You better slow down or you gonna kill us. Just make one mistake and it's the pearly gates for them 85 crates of USDA-approved cluckers. You want to hit second? Wolf Creek has way up on the Great Divide, trucking on down the other side. Well, Earl grabbed on the shifter and he stabbed her into fifth gear, and then the chromium-plated, fully illuminated, genuine accessory shift knob come right off in his hand. I says, you want to screw that thing back on, Earl? He was trying to thread it on there when the fire fell off of his cigar and dropped on down, sort of rolled around, and then lit in the cup of Earl's pants and burned a hole in his sock. Yeah, sort of set him right on fire. I looked on out of the window and I started counting phone poles, going by at the rate of four to the seventh power. Well, I put two and two together and added twelve and carried five, come up with twenty-two thousand telephone poles an hour. I looked at Earl and his eyes was wide, his lip was curled and his leg was fried. His hand was froze to the wheel like a tongue to a sled in the middle of a blizzard. I says, Earl, I'm not the type to complain, but the time has come for me to explain that if you don't apply some brake real soon, they're going to have to pick us up with a stick and a spoon. Well, Earl reared back, cocked his leg, stepped down as hard as he could on the brake, the pedal went clear to the floor and his face dropped there on the floor. And he says, it's sort of like stepping on a plum. Well, from there on down, it just wasn't real pretty. It was Hairpin County and Switchback City. One of them looked like a can full of worms. Another one looked like malaria germs. Right in the middle of the whole damn show was a real nice tunnel now, wouldn't you know? The sign says Clarence to the 12-foot line, but the chickens were stacked to 13-9. Well, we shot that tunnel on 110 like gas through a funnel and eggs through a hen. We took that top row of chickens off the liquor and still them off a of Louisiana swamp. Went down and round and round and down, we run out of ground at the edge of town, bashed into the side of the feed store in downtown Pagosa Springs.